A global industry group for nurses is among the latest to voice concern about protective equipment shortages for frontline medical workers against coronavirus. This was Howard Catton, the head of the International Council of Nurses, on Monday. We have no doubt that the rate of infections uh, is related in part to the lack of PPE, personal protective equipment. We know that there is a global shortage uh, and nurses obviously are at a higher risk given the people who that they're caring for and without their protect, that protection, uh, their safety, their welfare is also at risk. That's something that we just shouldn't be doing on a moral, moral and ethical basis. We need to be protecting and supporting our nurses and our healthcare workforce. Infection rates of 9% and 12 to 14% have been reported among health workers in Italy and Spain, as well as deaths among nurses there and in Iran and Indonesia. But in many places, they've been forced to reuse their gear, risking contamination or make their own protective masks and gowns. Catton said there had been problems with supply chains in Europe, whose health systems have been very close to being overwhelmed. They are heroic. I think there's no other way to describe what they are doing at this moment in time. They're working under intense pressure, often long hours, some working back-to-back -back shifts for days on end, even sleeping over in the hospital or the facility in which they work. He's voiced concern for nurses in countries in Africa and South Asia as the virus moves to poorer settings.